All right, how's everybody doing? Um, okay, so today is the day that some of you have been waiting for. Hang on, I'm gonna set this camera down. Make some adjustments so I can have a conversation with you. All right. Let me lay on my belly since I lost most of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, we're going to uh, pull this entire suspension section off of this vehicle. And uh, we'll start by getting the brake assembly apart and, um, you know, get this lifting eye off of here. And then we'll go through and, you know, get the drive shaft out, get the shock disconnect because the shock is supporting this thing. And then you're hinged on two locations with bushings and that's what's bad on this deal. And what's happening is, is that when we first got the vehicle, uh, Jeff Matson and I were looking it over and he went to grab the wheel and shook it. Said, hey man, I think you got bearings, uh, loose bearings or whatever, like the hub might be loose. I said, oh, okay. So one day I took it to work and I took a corner from a stop sign for I was in a stop position and I took a left turn and I felt this kind of a, this kind of a weird popping jolting uh, motion. So I pulled over immediately and I looked at the vehicle. I didn't see nothing obvious, but I grabbed that wheel from side to side and I did like this. Well, when I shook it, the front bushings were just slapping around. I'm like, well, we shouldn't be driving this vehicle anymore until we get this fixed. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the bushings out. Okay, so uh, some of the tools you're gonna need to do this job is an 11 sixteenths, let me double check. Yep, 11 sixteenths for the nuts, uh, for the castle nuts on the bushing side, okay. You have an inch and a quarter um, castle nut in here that holds the hub in place. Uh, we'll just pop this loose with a hammer and a punch. You got a 3 8 uh, line wrench that you need for your brake line. And on the shock mounts, we have two sizes. The nut itself is an inch and sixteenth, and the bolt head side is an inch and an eighth. All right, so we're going to have to break those loose, and I've got some, th uh, some three quarter inch drive stuff. What else? We got the vehicle supported, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get a jack up under here and take some of the tension off of this A-frame before we start disconnecting parts. And then we're going to disconnect the shock. We're going to lower the A-frame, get that drive shaft out of there. Um, and, uh, and then we'll go for the two bushings, okay? Now this particular vehicle was undercoated, so I'm kind of fighting some of that, that, that material, makes things a little bit tougher. So I hope this helps you guys and uh, gives you a sense of uh, what it takes to disassemble this because I'm pretty confident that most of you can do this on your own. But I have not been able to find any videos out there or any real detailed information on pulling this stuff apart. Okay, let's get to it. This is a lifting eye and you've got a lifting eye nut okay, which sort of serves as a locking nut or a jam nut, depending on what you want to call it. I should just be able to uh, tap this bad boy. Yep, and it's loose. And this really acts as a dust cap, okay? And it really just keeps the grease inside this hub area. And here I can tell right now I have a cotter pin that's too small for this. Let me show you. We're gonna get that cotter pin out and take this uh, and take out this castle nut. Nice knot. Not much pressure on this thing at all. On each castle nut. Put that in my pan. Oh, by the way, look. Steal your mama's cookie sheets, man. Eventually they get rusty. They're perfect for uh, holding all your parts. All right, we're just gonna give this hub a little wiggle. There is a washer in there. And that's it. All right, 
So we'll take all this stuff apart and clean it, inspect it, and make some determinations as to whether or not we need to replace the bearings and races. But we're definitely got some seepage here on the seal and uh, actually looks like the seal's damaged right there, so it's gonna get replaced. Give you an idea of what we're looking at. So this brake system is kind of funky. You have little retaining clips that are behind the backing plate uh, which hold this retaining spring into place, okay? I noticed on the front uh, passenger side that one of them was missing, so that's telling me that this, I got a brake shoe that's flopping around in there, and that might be the cause of the noise that I thought was coming from the rear. Anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, disassemble this. You see you have an adjuster on here, um, just like regular vehicles and uh, retaining springs, um, but everything looks pretty new. I mean, these are these are very clean, thick pads, and uh, but we want to get those off. Okay, we'll leave the tension on these. So I'm not sure about sequencing, but I'm gonna try to pop this spring loose first. Okay, move the adjuster. And that frees you up to get to this little ugly guy. I'm not sure if you can see that. But this little retainer clip and spring right here is what we got to get loose. All right. So we're going to go in there. <laughs> and that's it. So you can see right here that clip pretty fragile little guy. You see it wiggling right there? It's small. And um, why the hell they designed it that way is beyond me. All right, I, I'm having a problem holding my freaking light in place. So here's what it looks like on the inside, and that's the spring. And it's just held on by itself. The spring is like that. It's pretty goofy, but that's what they decided to do when they built the damn thing. All right. So the shoes, yeah, they're salvageable, but we might want to work on replacing some hardware. Now, that's an interesting wear pattern. Look at that. Source of some noise, maybe. Okay. And that little clip fell down. She's right here. All right, that's what they look like. Don't lose them. Either that or just replace them and be done with it, okay? I know Jeff Madsen has these things at Frontline Military Vehicles. In fact, he's got like complete brake kits there. Hundreds of them. Give them a shout. Right. We're just disconnecting the brake line here. Okay, brake line is loose. Uh, e joints disconnected. All right, so these are these clamps loose, and uh, and 
That's it, man. We got one shaft out. All right, let's take the tension off of the uh, off the shock. I'm just gonna cup it right under there where the spring is, and just enough to move the shock. All right. nine lock see that probably a good idea Should be able to pull that shock out of the way and drop that arm a little bit. There we go. I should be able to lower this arm now and remove that coil spring. Look at that, folks. Mother beautiful. Okay, now let's work on the two bushings. Just to bring you up to speed. Um, so, yeah, what's happened is, is that there's a metal sleeve inside the bushing, which has pretty much welded itself onto this freaking bolt through rust. And there's no amount of pounding this out because it's stuck in there. Don't want to do any damage to the frame, so I'm not going to beat on it anymore. We're going to go ahead and take this uh, this mounting bracket off, and then we'll come over here and we'll try to get this one out. If this one doesn't budge either, then we'll do the same. We'll, redo, we'll take the uh, mounting bracket down and uh, we'll do this stuff on the bench. These are 11 sixteenths as well three of them per bracket. Let's see if we can get this thing out without killing ourselves. Oh. There she is. So I had to take these brackets off, the frame itself, and uh, it, I'm telling you, it's tight in there. Um, I don't have the right power tools available, so I had to do it by hand. 11 16 uh, wrench on both sides, and a ratchet, if you can get a ratchet in there. So here's what's going on. Um, we'll just take this off. You can see that the inner part of this uh, bushing is pretty much one with the bolt now because of the rust and everything that's in there. And here's the bushing. And it's really wall wallered out big time. And we got it just in time because, I mean, this is just falling apart. The, uh, the um, you don't want this stuff to go too long because it will wall out. You don't want to wall out this uh, this housing right here are you going to destroy your a-frame so we got this in, in, in pretty much in the nick of time i think and we'll be able to press in the new one let's take a look at the new ones here all right so it's going to come in from the outside like this it'll seat here there you can see the internal uh, metal ring that's stuck right there <laughs> And uh, the kit has new hardware. So, 
And there you have it. This is the inside portion of the uh, of the vehicle, by the way. So, yeah, don't don't screw up your relationships as you uh, put this thing back together. All right, same deal. Center sleeve is frozen on. We'll go ahead and just dump some uh, uh, some some PB blaster in there. Maybe even get a. Uh, a cold chisel or something in there to spread out this uh, crease just enough to break this loose and get this bolt out of there that way we can get the new replacement one in there without a problem now while all these parts are out you may as well clean them up right get a fresh paint job on it also you can see right here I'll need to rebuild this particular brake line up to the wheel cylinder but we're gonna get all this stuff cleaned up before we put it back together and uh, we'll demonstrate how we press out the old bushings and put in the new ones in a different video. <laughs> Look at that. That's where the bolt started wearing itself through. Okay, and you wonder why there's clunking going on in the, in the uh, rear end. Not good. Fortunately, Fortunately, that bolt did not rub through into this outer sleeve, uh, so we don't have any damage to the A-frame, thank God. Um, but the rubber's definitely dry rotted. I wonder if this one come out. Yep. Same situation. Okay, wore out. But, we're safe. Looks like I need to put together an order for uh, frontline military vehicles. Jeff, are you tracking? I need it all, my friend. Yeah. So what was that? A-frame one-on-one? Here she is. In all her glory. Still in good shape. Nothing's wallered out. She just needs a little love and maintenance. And probably a fresh coat of paint. But we'll get all that torn apart and everything, but... We're definitely going to have to get an order together and uh, get the right uh, seals and a little bit of brake hardware and get these bushings installed. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Um, the shock on here seems to have some shockiness. I uh, don't know if they're supposed to be gas charged or not, but it's not like they're sagging and stuff. It takes a little effort to pull and push them. So, yeah. Okay, that's it. A-frame is out. Please be safe out there uh, when you're working on your vehicles. And, um, you know, if you're not comfortable monkeying around with this stuff, folks, please don't do it. To get somebody, get a professional to work on it for you. But, um, and, uh, and just double check all your equipment, right? Use your glasses, hearing protection if you're running power tools. Um, but we'll show you how we do the cleanup portion. I'm not even going to film the other side. I'm just going to go knock it out now. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. And uh, for those of you people that have been waiting with bated breath, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Because I'm freaking whooped. <laughs> Jeez.